Okay, so we've talked about the rational number set, and uh, I mentioned that the most important thing about the rational number set are the prime numbers, because the prime numbers allow you to uh, manipulate to uh, to work with all the rational numbers. Okay, now what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are natural numbers that divide evenly only by one in themselves. Okay, so we got. prime numbers. Now one is not considered to be a prime number um, so we'll avoid writing down as a prime number. Well you can think of it as a prime number if you want, not a big deal. Uh, as far as you're concerned in high school, one can be a prime number or it can't be a prime number, it's irrelevant. Uh, so we'll start with number two, okay? So your prime numbers are two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, and so on. So all of these numbers, they can only be divided by one in themselves evenly. So if someone asks you a question, uh, uh, you know, I ask my students, how many numbers are there between one and 20? And in general, almost everyone says, oh, 20 numbers. But there aren't really 20 numbers because every other number that is not a prime number is made up of prime numbers. So for example, if we write down, we got one over here, right? You go two, three, four. What's number four? Number four is just two times two. So it's not a new number. Number five is a prime number. Number six. What's number six? It's two times three. Then you got seven. Then you go off to eight. Eight is two times four. Four is two times two. So again, eight is not a new number. And then you got nine. Nine. Nine is three times three. So if you do this all the way up to the number 20, you're going to find out there aren't 20 numbers. There's only nine numbers. Okay, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and number one. Okay, that makes nine numbers. Now think of the power you're gonna have when you're dealing with large data sets if you're able to break everything down to their prime numbers. So for example, between one and 20, there's nine numbers. Well, the higher up you go with the number set, with the natural number set, the number of prime numbers decreases. So if you had 10,000 numbers, Maybe you could crunch that down to 500 prime numbers. So all of a sudden, you don't have a 10,000 set, uh, 10,000 number set. You got only 500 ha you have to deal with. Now, if you take that even higher, let's say you're dealing with a million numbers. Well, there aren't really a million numbers from one to one to a million. There's maybe a few thousand numbers. So that gives you a certain amount of power to be able to work with number sets and break things down. Now this becomes super important, breaking down numbers to their tree, their prime numbers, when you're dealing with fractions. Because what you do is, you start canceling off the prime numbers from the top and the bottom, okay? But we'll talk about, when, we'll talk about that when we're dealing with fractions. Now, keep this in mind, I'm gonna put on some exercises on my website where I'm gonna ask you to break down numbers. Now go through those exercises and break them down into their prime numbers, okay? Good luck.